Hi everyone, here's just a quick video on how you can use the booking site and how to set up your Deriv and XM accounts. You should see this page, you can just fill in some of the details such as your name, surname, your cell number and your email address. Once you fill that in, you can just go down, you'll see two other options, select date. Now this is the date you're going to choose for the booking itself. Now you can just navigate to any date that will work for you. Yeah, I'm going to choose the 4th of March. And once you click OK, you can check one of the available time slots. Now the list here, you'll see there's two slots available next to everything. means there's no bookings for the day. Um, if there's an available slot, you can choose one of those times, such as I'm going to go for 12 o'clock. And then I can just click on Submit to submit the booking. Okay, now we're going to set up our XM account. What I need to do is going to scroll down to the XM setup. You can just click on set up now. And it's going to take me to this page, XM's website. Now they're going to ask for a few details. You can just fill all of those in, email, password, and so on. And then just click register. Now you're going to receive an email from XM, so just check your inbox and you should receive an email to verify that you want to create an account. Once your email is verified, it's going to open up their website. This is how it should look. And you'll see you already have two real accounts or two accounts on for MetroTrader 5. You can use these accounts to link to your MetroTrader 5. You have a real account and a demo account. Just click on account information and these are the details I'm going to use to log in with or to connect my MT5 with my XM account. To continue setting up the account, you can just click on deposit and they're going to ask you for a few profile details such as your name and so on. You can just fill all of those in. You can click on add financial details and just answer all of the questions in this quick survey. Now you're going to need to submit a document so they can verify that you are a real person. You can just click on that button there and you can start verifying. You're going to have to have your ID for this step or your passport. You can click on identity card and they're going to ask for permission to use your camera. You can just click on start and the pop-up is going to ask if you want to allow them to use your camera. You can just click allow. Now just keep your ID in the frame. They're going to quickly check for quality. Click on confirm and do the same for the back. After you've checked the back, you can just click on complete. Again, a quality check. And once it's done, you will have access to the real account and you will have the ability to deposit money into the XM account. You can just click on deposit next to your account. You'll see multiple payment options. Do we recommend just using the card option? You can just enter the amount you want to deposit. Click on confirm. And you can fill your card in details in here. Now if you go back to the booking site, you can just click on the Deriv setup link. It's going to take you to this page. You can just click on agree and fill in your email address. 
once you've done that they're going to send you an email once you click create demo account should look like this in the email you can just click on the button verify my account or click on the link itself they're going to ask you a few details as far as possible if you are a south african client if you even if you're living in another country at the moment try to fill in your south african details now they're going to ask you to create a password any password should work that you use commonly just make sure to write it down anyway you might not be able to interact with the screen but you'll see here at the bottom there is a tutorial you just need to follow you can just click next on everything as well as these pop-ups now that we have a demo account we can set up the real account here next to traders hub it might open on the demo account but you can just click on this little drop down box and switch it to real then what we're going to need to do is click here on the river account under options and multipliers you can just click on get preferably you should use us dollar it's going to set up a us dollar account but the other option shouldn't cause any issues identity verification you can just follow this entire process it's just going to be your national id number and then other details they're going to ask for just fill in your id make sure that your first name last name and date of birth are exactly as they are on your id card the tax residence and tax identification numbers are not always necessary to fill in these are optional uh, you don't have to fill them in okay after you've filled in your information just make sure to check this little checkbox i confirm the name and date of birth above match my chosen identity document meaning your identification card now, as i've said the tax residence and the tax identification number are not necessary to fill in and the account opening reason a survey they do you can choose any one of the options it won't change anything with the account then you click on next and you fill in your address they won't necessarily ask for a proof of address but just make sure that if you fill in these details that you have a proof of address for your chosen location after you filled in your address you can just click on continue then it's going to take you to the terms of use page then you can just check these two boxes i agree to the terms and conditions and i am not a politically exposed person you just click on add account after you've created your real account you'll see you will no longer have the option to get a real account from here what you can do you can scroll down to the cfds section of the website of the traders hub and you'll see derived mt5 you want to choose the derived option it'll have this blue icon with the drv at the bottom then you can just click on get a few options you can choose here so we recommend the british virgin islands server but for the sake of the tutorial i'm going to be using the saint vincent and grenadines after you've chosen option you can just click here on next and they're going to ask you to create an mt5 password now this password can be the same as your derive password but it should not contain any hashtags at symbols exclamation marks or dollar signs now they're going to ask you to transfer money into the account but since there are no funds in the account yet you can just click maybe later and if you want to do the deposit for the account you can wait until the installer sends another video for that one then you can just click on open once you've created your derived mt5 account and you'll see there are multiple fields of information they give you and the fields we want are the server and the login id you can just copy those now on this screen what you can do we're going to have to download metatrader 5 the trading platform uh, where on the bot is going to be running they're going to give you the option to download it right here you can just click on download you should see it pop up over in the corner 
From here you can just open the file, agree to the terms and conditions and wait for the installation to complete. Now that the application has finished setting up, it will automatically open MetaTrader 5 terminal, the Deriv terminal, and you will see this on your screen. Now it should give you Deriv.com Limited as an option as of a server. In case it does not, you can just go to the search bar, type in Deriv, click on Find Your Company, and the option should be here. You should click on this icon, Deriv.com Limited. Then after you've clicked on it, you can just click on Next. Now, on this window, you can just click on this checkbox, Connect with an existing trade account, since you've already opened one. Then it's going to ask for your login ID, your password, and your server. Now we just open your Traders Hub again. You go to this Trade tab for the Deriv. Then you can just copy these details into that window. And then you just need to manually fill in your password. After you've done that, you just click on Finish. Once this screen pops up and you have access to the Trade, Exposure and History tabs, it means you successfully logged into the account. It should show at the top of the screen as well. Now for the bot, you can just close all these windows they've opened for you. And depending on the bot you have, you can open the correct markets from the market watch in the upper left corner. Now for the Oryx bot, it's going to be the Crash 500 index. So you just right click over here and then you just click on chart window. You can maximize it and for the bot to run on this window it needs to be on the M1 chart. For the DEX port, you'll see the DEX market is not listed here. The market we are looking for is the DEX 900 down index. So you just click on this little plus sign over here. Then you type DEX. And the option should be here. You just click. You press enter. And you'll see it was added to the list. Same story, you just right click on the X900 down index and then you open chart window. Now for the DEX market, the DEX port, the chart needs to be on a five minute time frame. From here, the setup is complete and the installer will connect to your computer and finish the rest of the installation then. Once you are done with the setup, when you open your desktop, you should see there are two new applications installed, the MetaTrader 5 terminal and MetaEditor 5. The only one that matters for the bot is the MetaTrader 5 terminal with this symbol. The MetaEditor is unnecessary and you can just move that to your recycle bin. If you experience any issues with the setup, you can just contact one of our team members and they will direct you to your installer or a support member that will help you.